Hey everybody, my name is Billy and welcome back to more Let's Play Alan Wake. In the last episode, we shot Stucky. Mm. And then... Hey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. <clears throat> you should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Right, anyway, in the last episode we got to here, and I have no idea what we're doing, right, um, coffee. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. Ah. <clears throat> right, okay. Ooh, a bottle. house. Very nice house. Oh, go to Alice. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey. I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. Ooh. <laughs> get in there. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just put the lights back on now. Honey, please. it's a power outage. I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and the magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Get it. Bright Falls, the process dirt. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake? How are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Uh, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, uh, it's Sheriff a Breaker, is big fish. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Thomas. All right. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Ducky Gas Station with Thornton. 
There's no sign of him. Or... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake load. It's here. That's some good news, right? Thought we were supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Stains out. Ooh, dear. Ooh. Manuscript. I've got quite a few of these. Mr. Lake, the sheriff is waiting for you in the Alice office was down missing. The I needed help to find her. I wasn't ready to leave. I guess you can call her the town attorney. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on, um, other things you Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She okay, me one second. I'm just going to let this click on for a moment. So, Excuse one me. second. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence of a left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Okay. That was... What? Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I'm sorry. Quit hey, mister! Good. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> the early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Thomas. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and it's just not time to I will be back in a second, so one second. Alright folks, sorry about that. Okay, that's where I need to go. Right. Kick. Mm-hmm. Manuscript. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here. Here at Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet <coughs> Alice's partners. <coughs> right. Okay. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have incurred. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about. Am I under arrest? No, of course not. 
but I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Okay. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. <laughs> I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking at the mess. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an Never airhead. Did. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? What was the last time you slept? Are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. And everything's just... Wait here. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Seriously, hmm. Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing... It... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, Dog. Geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. <clears throat> Look. Oh, like a bear trap. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you stay here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Poor doggy. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eye on the radio map. It's right below that. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went boop, into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you... Whatever. <laughs> Moving on. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry! The killer! This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. 
He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Hmm. Thomas. Pick up quite a few of them. Lovely. <laughs> hey, fire switch is on. Right, okay. Radio tower. Radio tower? Rip. All right. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. What the hell? So this lover's peak thing is this way. Is it? Or is it just a normal cabin? Yeah, it's just a normal cabin, okay. Oh dear. on that page I found came true it knew so dark it'll come back for me you must the lights in the office 
I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Good boy. Oh, can't I have the dog to help? No. Oh dear, this is a... Uh. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. The ground was covered with green patches. Reload. Oh. oh, you should shine your light on whatever that is. Okay. Guess the oily patches would hurt me. Oh, please tell me the dog's okay. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the leg. No, not the dog. Why the dog? Fishing! It's only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license! Hmm. Revolver. No the park ranger's instructions. At all times! Rusty? Rusty, no! Never! Two bears and wolves! Never approach any other wildlife club closer than 24 yards. Pets must be leashed. Sorry, Rusty. Reload. Um. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm going this way then. Oh crap. Oh boy. Yeah, this way. Right, okay. <laughs> He believes me. Beer. No, I want the beer. Dig. I'd say this was actually a pretty good time to get hammered. 
Might make it a little more believable to understand if he was hammered. Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Hmm. Ah, you bastard. I need to find a light, which is up there. Lovely. Because I am running out of health. Oh god, here we go again. I don't want to die again. Please don't let me die. Point. Okay. A great old one. How did I know that would happen? Moving on. This is kind of nerve-wracking. LIGHT! Well... Fuck. Give me light! No, 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 no! That's better. Ha <laughs> ha! Batteries, revolver ammo, manuscript. Just need a thermos now. I'm guessing there's a thermos around here somewhere. Is he? Oh dear. Why can't I take the axe as well? I mean, come on. Unlimited ammo, all we have to do is just swing or throw. Oh, fuck. Bear alert. A boot. Okay. Come on out, you bastard. I saw you.
Wow, 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 wow! What the fuck? Well, I think I'm going to pause it here, so... Thank you once again for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!